people of the internet, welcome back to the Armbar Arcade and welcome back to Nay's Retro Lounge with me, Nay. Um, we've got a new PC, it's up and running. Um, it's pretty great, it's pretty beastly, um, running lots of things on lots of FPS. But obviously, for the Retro Lounge, we have to go back to the past and try and find some classics to play. And today, we've got one of my favourite games on the PS2. It might be a bit of an odd choice considering, you know, it's not one of the all-time greats. It's not been in any all-time greats list as far as I know. But I used to play this a whole lot back in the day. And it's Dancing Stage or Dance Dance Revolution Mega Mix. So this featured a few songs from each Dancing Stage game with a few new ones. Um, yeah. I've had all my Streamlabs settings reset so you'll have to tell me if things are too loud or too quiet see how that is um, but yeah this is a rhythm game it sort of started my uh, sort of started my love of rhythm games alongside a few other games um, so yeah I'm basically today I'm gonna be doing expert mode on hopefully every song apart from the massively licensed songs and we should be able to clear every stage. Some of the end ones get particularly hard, but you know, we'll deal with that when we get to it. Um, and yeah, I'll be playing on the pad because you can play on a dance mat, but in playing on a dance mat, you sort of expend a lot of energy and I just prefer rhythm games on a pad. So although most people would play dancing stage games on a dancing stage controller or even in the arcades, we're gonna be going at it on pad. So yeah, new stream setup. I've got a monitor in front of me with the chat. I've got my TV with the game. Um, I haven't actually got a computer monitor yet, so I've had to borrow a TV from downstairs, which is pretty cool. And yeah, I'm going to get started on some expert mode songs, otherwise we'll never get through them all. There's some real jams in this as well, like uh, Konami rhythm games have some absolute jams. Tell me if the volume's too quiet or too loud. I might not talk too much during difficult songs, but I think some of the earlier ones I can probably handle. But yeah, I'm fairly good at dancing stage on pad. You sort of get in the zone with it. This one is an absolute gem. Some of the background animations are absolutely distracting. Looks like a fairground of some sort, or like someone's put something together with connects to me, but it's hard to tell. I've also moved the webcam to the bottom right so you can see all the moves coming up on screen. I haven't had a lot of practice at this recently, so hopefully I'm not too rusty. We're going to clear this one though. There we go, not the best performance, but <sighs> cleared. Wow! only missed the six steps, record. so that's not terrible. Um, I've cleared the game with double A's Select before, music. so it's not my best performance. The faster songs are harder. You can see down there there's like... I think nine feet of difficulty, so that's that's quite a difficult song, like nine out of ten difficulty. The faster they get, the harder the beat maps are. But having done music for a rhythm game recently, I sort of appreciate all... Oh goodness, that's a lot of steps. A lot of the beat maps are like this, just absolutely crowded with steps. Luckily they ease up for a minute. So that bar at the top tells us how well we're doing. When it goes orange and shiny, we're doing really well. 
And when it flashes up with danger, it means we're in danger of losing the stage. So that's not great. Ignore the chorus of boos. They just don't know good dancing when they see it. Yeah, there's not much crew chiefing to be done, really. It's just based on my performance. Wow. <laughs> but it's once I get in the record. zone, we'll be all right. I mean, I only missed 18 steps out of about 300, so it's not bad. It could be better. So I've got some favorite it. songs that I would do better on. This one's at 200 beats a minute, so it's one of those just absolute step fests. But it's only got, what, 8 out of 10 difficulty? So it's a little bit easier than the last one. The last one kind of struggled for rhythm. Some of the songs, they don't have a strong, definitive rhythm. This one does. This one's more like a rock song. But I appreciate Konami's sort of original songs on this. I think it has a repeat chorus, so we're not out of the woods yet. There we go. Three songs down, three songs cleared. Wow! I it's forgot these all have about three to four hundred steps in expert mode, but we only missed seven steps that time. That is not bad at all. What I might do for the next song is tilt the camera down so that you can see what my fingers are doing, because I feel like it's more interesting than my face just like frowning. But yeah, they you play the songs in threes, so. Uh, it's a bit like an arcade game, I suppose, where you do play the songs in threes. Everybody if you're wondering how I play this on pad, I mean, you may, you may or may not know, uh, but obviously you can play with the D-pad for up, right, left, and down. Shush, Kylie Minogue, you're licensed. Um, and then the face buttons are also up, right, left, and down, so you can sort of switch between them. But let's, let's have pad cam for one, just one song. This one's got seven feet worth of difficulty, so it's not as hard, but it's got a really good rhythm, so we should do better on this one. See what you think of finger cam. It takes a little second to get going, but when it does, the screen really fills up with moves.
There we go. What did you think of pad cam? Was it good? I didn't realise I do a lot of like sort of things for show, like when there's a hold I sort of twist the controller over just for you know, for a bit bit of fun. So we've got some songs that aren't quite as good as the Konami originals. I don't know how many of them are Konami originals and how much are just like obscure Japanese songs, but this one is kind of it's not one of my favourites, but we're gonna play all the unlicensed songs. And then maybe I'll do one final licensed song at two times speed to finish the stream because I think I'm able to do it. This one's a much easier beat map for the first part anyway. It's quite hard to make compelling beat maps to songs. Like you think it'd be easy to just go to the beat, but it's not as easy as it seems. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize quite how much concentration these songs would take, but wow, it's a new maybe record. pad cam is the way to go. You can you can let me know. Select music. Select difficulty. This is another seven step difficulty. We'll do a pad cam for this one. Final stage. I need two cams, really. Yeah, I... Usually I'm, like, quite good at regulating my breathing, so I'm not breathing into the mic. But we're just going to have to deal with it. It's quite a physical workout, to be honest, playing dancing stage games, even on pad. This one's chill though. Got a groovy bass line. Are we back? Wow! It's a new We got a B. I'll take a B. I used to get double A's on the easy songs, but who wants to see me play easy songs? And massively licensed ones at that. Let's dance. Select the style. Single play. Select music. We got a nice summary tune next. Fair amount of BPM. I can feel it. I mean, I don't know how many rhythm games you guys have played. I like the um, Rhythm Heaven series. I played Vib Rhythm for the channel. Um, so, 
you know, we like lots of different rhythm games. Uh, there's... I'll continue this point once I'm done with reading beat maps. Elite Beat Agents was a good game on the DS. And sort of like the beginning of, of Osu as well. Taikano Tachijin. Love rhythm games. That pattern behind is like... Distraction. Definitely distraction. Lots of colours. Parappa, yeah, of course. Why did I forget Parappa as a rhythm game? The thing with Parappa is if you play wow, it on the original PS1, and I suppose on the PSP as well, like, the rhythm is kind of weird. Like, Select it's not music. quite on the beat, but you just sort of get used to the latency issue and you, you kind of adjust to it. At least here, like, it's basically in rhythm, which is great because you don't want rhythm games that are out of rhythm. We'll return to pad cam for the faster songs. I think we'll have face cam for slow songs, pad cam for fast songs. This is like one of the slowest songs, and to be honest, slow songs in rhythm games, you're better off with fast ones. Like, this is kind of hip hop based, and it's like, I'm second guessing where the beat is because it's so slow compared to the other songs. Yeah, if you want to improve your thumb skills, I can definitely recommend playing Dance Dance Revolution games on pad. Strengthen your thumbs. You never know when you might need them. As much as I love some of Konami's originals, whether or not this is an original, they picked some like duds as well for some of their dancing stage games. Even with the licensed songs, they had like Come On Eileen by Dex's Midnight Runners. Like if they had the greatest hits, that would be the only wow. song on it. It's a new Maybe Gino as well, but you know. Select music. Glad you're enjoying Pizza Hut, Nick. There is a dancing rhythm game in uh, GTA 4. I think there's also a dancing rhythm game in... Um, it's either Yakuza 0 or Kiwami. There's like a... I think it's Zero. There's like a dance floor game. Oh yeah, San Andreas has one. But it's basically like, press this button. No, press this button. At least like, make it a bit more complex. I enjoy complex rhythm games. Oh, here we go. I don't know this song very well. I did think, like, I've got some favourite songs on here, but, like, the middle section of songs are just ones that I hardly ever play, so it really is an expert challenge. This is quite 90s, though. I'm enjoying it. Also, I don't think we're dropping that many frames, which is great compared to, uh... How many frames we used to drop. So the Beast PC is definitely doing its job. As is the Wi-Fi for now. Probably jinxed it with saying that. Big shout out to Pam for helping me build the PC as well. Would not have built it without his help. I'd just be sitting here with a load of computer parts. Not streaming. I'd probably still be playing this though. Whew, 
that was pretty tough. There are a lot of Eurobeat songs, and I thought you'd appreciate that being Initial D fans. Well, some of you, anyway. Wow. It's a new record. One misstep in that song. Not bad. We're running at a B overall, which is fine for expert mode. Like, you can't expect me to be doing much better than a B in expert mode. Everybody's waiting for you. Select the style. Single play. Select music. So, where are we up to? Oh, this one. Okay. This one's difficult because it's 100 beats a minute, which is fairly slow. And the song is just rubbish. But the song after is probably the first very hard song that we're going to encounter. So, stay tuned even if you hate this. Because this, this is the worst song in the game by far. See what you think. Give it a number out of 10. Pizza Hut's an 8 out of 10. Oh, I hate this. It also reuses the backgrounds from the Kylie Minogue song, so... Minus points for that as well. Hilariously, I'm doing the best at this song out of any song so far. Absolutely hate this tune. I cannot stress enough how rubbish this song is. If you're enjoying this, then you're just wrong. You are a super dancer. What is that? What is this beat map? We nearly failed, but the expert challenge is still on, as long as that section doesn't come back. I'm glad you didn't have pad cam for that, because it would have just been my thumbs tripping over themselves. Stop booing. Yeah, that was a terrible song. We don't talk about My Summer Love as a song, it's just rubbish. It's a new it's record, because I started a new safe on. <laughs> But this is the one. Paranoia K Ket? K Set? K K K K Ket? I think it's a Peggy 3, as far as I know. Clean mix, 2 MB. It's time for pad cam, because this gets crazy. Right, I won't be talking much in this. It's got 9 steps as its difficulty rating. Here goes. Let's do it. I did change the game title, but for some reason it says Gran Turismo. So wow. if you're watching this for it's Gran Turismo, record. then I don't know. You're going to be disappointed. I tell you what I'll do. I'm going to put up the wrong game title because Dancing Stage Mega Mix apparently doesn't exist according to Twitch, so I can't change it. But 
see if it says Dancing Stage Fever, because some of the, some of the games are on Dancing Stage Fever. So we'll just we'll pretend this is Dancing Stage Fever. Anyway, that was a difficult song. I'm gonna skip that one because it's only got a five-step rating, and we're just we're not about the five-step ratings. We're gonna go for some more difficult songs because. To be honest, some of these are just easy, so we'll come back to them if we really feel like it, or maybe we'll just play with, like, hard songs. So this one's got eight-step rating. Back to pad cam. Tell me if you like pad cam. If you'd rather see my face, then fair enough. I don't know why you would rather see my face than the pad, but obviously it's not zoomed in on the pad, but we could probably fix that if we had to. This one's a bit of an electronic jam, to be honest. And for the first bit, it's fairly chill. You think, oh, what makes this expert eight, eight step difficulty? Well, it's because I'm failing on it. That's what makes it so hard. Now it gets harder. Rhythm's a bit all over the place as well, which doesn't help. It's leg cam, but it's also pad cam. I'll tell you what I'm going to wow. do. It's We're going to introduce record. new pad cam. Literal zoom in on the pad. Because I've got a table in front of me. And it's about time we had new pad cam because we're about to play one of the hardest songs Let's and one of my favourites. This one's Suguru, it's based on Japanese Enka music and it's pretty, pretty interesting. Let's see how it goes. You almost got like Quentin Tarantino cam because my feet are here as well. We'll get the mic lead out the way slightly. There we go, that's better. Pad cam 2.0, new and improved. Buy one, get one free. Let's get in the zone. That freeze. Hope you like traditional Japanese music. Yes. Your performance is refreshing. Techno time. With a tinge of Japanese stuff. Everybody's watching you. There we go. Wow! It's a new record!
How was Padcam 2.0? Did you enjoy it? Select music. That is one good song, though. Definitely enjoy that one. Trip Machine Desire. I do not enjoy it, but we're going to do it anyway. Or Trip Machine Climax. Whatever you want to call it. I love the nine-step difficulty song because we just love punishing ourselves really here at the Armbar Arcade. It's fine. Thanks, Jason. What a wonderful endorsement of my pad cam. We'll keep it on face cam for this one, I think, just because the song's already started and we're not going to have time to move it. Phones are falling off. This is not ideal. Good. I can just about hear the music. Great for a rhythm game. Good. Good. Keep on going. I think not being able to hear the music really didn't help. It was a bit of a poor attempt though, I've got to say. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go into training mode. Now you might think, Nay, why do you have to train? You're already playing stuff on expert mode. Well, we're going to go to my favourite beat map in the whole game. It's probably a licensed song, but who cares? We're going to go on to expert. And then we're going to go on to music speed. Five? Is that? Hold on. Select option. There we go. Speed times two. Or 1.5. I'll try. I don't know if I can do it at times two. We'll do it at times 1.5. If it's easy, I'll gladly come back and do it again. Um, and yeah, we're just going to give it a go. This is faster than it should be, but I know this, like, the back of my hand, hopefully. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to try and get Padcam going. Padcam 1.0 is back. just lost my combo at like 94. How dare they? I reckon we can do this at two times speed, you know? I mean, I've got the single of this song, so it definitely came out as a pop song at some point. Anyway, double A. What are you going to do about it? We're going to try that at times two, you know. Oh, you can check how great your steps were. Yeah, they, they were all great. I know. I know they were. Uh, here we go. Select option. Times two. They've got times three if we can do times two. I think finding our limits on this song is going to be quite fun. And then we'll uh, go back to see what the other songs are like. I've also got... 
There's a song called Max 300. It's at 300 beats a minute, so we might do that as well. Uh, you have to get double A's to unlock it, so I'll just whack in a memory card with the save, I think. Anyway, times two. This one's going to be fast. I mean, the song doesn't get faster, but the steps do. I don't know how they do that. Ah, I lost my combo. It was on like 150. Yeah, it's definitely a licensed song. Maybe AJ can cut it out of the VOD if YouTube really complains. Another double A at two times speed. I'm just a dancing stage master, really, you know. So we're going to check out a few more songs in game mode, then do max 300, and then maybe try that at three or five times speed just to really hammer home the point that that is my favourite song on the game. Yeah, so Sweet Sweet Magic is just incredibly fast. It's not a good song, but it's fast, so we'll, we'll try that one next. It's also got an incredibly distracting background, which I think all the songs tend to when they're difficult, but it's just like, have some flashing colours, have some moving shapes, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate on these arrows. Here we go. Oh, that pause is just absolutely trolling me. Oh well. Terrible song, but like... Difficult beat map. It's a real test. It's a new record. C's fine. I'm good with the C. As long as I pass, I really don't care what grade I get. Spin the Disc is funky. Much better song. Here we go. It's a little bit slower as well, which helps. Like, there's such a thing as too fast, and there's such a thing as too slow for dancing stage songs. But Konami just don't seem to realise that. This one's one of the ones I can sort of talk over doing. It's almost like reading and saying different stuff at the same time. Like, there's a section of my brain just dedicated to Dance Dance Revolution mood map. It's 
you can sort of transfer just directly from your brain to your fingers by just reading the move map. I wish it would go to my feet, but I'm really bad at the arcade machines with dancing stage, so I don't know exactly why that is. feel a bit like a zombie when you get in the trance of like just doing the moves. Like I'm just reading them, I'm not even sort of thinking about what my fingers are doing. Which is the best way to be. Yeah definitely YouTube some of these songs Nick, because the Bimani originals are like decent songs on their own. So what haven't we played? not a great song. This one's alright. This one's like summary. This is a bit Eurobeat as well. I think Nick will enjoy this. Tell me if you don't, Nick, because, you know, it's inevitable that you won't enjoy something I think you will, but I think you might. Maybe Eurobeat rave in Tokyo. I'm there. Just get me a plane ticket. Sometimes it's hard to read whether they want you to do two quick successive presses or two at the same time. That's probably the only thing I still struggle with in dancing stage games. Your performance is refreshing. Why isn't this an eSport? Like, I could train. I could get even better. I know there's people that like perfect every move, but that wouldn't make for a good stream, would it? Probably would. You got some fish behind the dance for some reason. It's completely unrelated to the oceans and fish, but you know. Got a little summary feel, I suppose. Kind of feels like the first stage of a Sonic game, maybe. Nearly had a hundred combo there and I just misread a move. Wow! I only missed three record. moves in total though, so not that disappointed. I'm gonna grab the max 300 memory card and we're gonna have a proper challenge. And we back. So hopefully it's got a save load function. It has. Alright, we've loaded system data. What system data we've loaded, I don't know. Vic! Vic is here. Hello, Vic. We're playing dancing stage games because they're fun on pad. Um, so let's see if Max 300 has unlocked. If it has, then we're going to play it. It has. Okay, so I'm going to try it on standard, because it is difficult. Then I'm going to try it on difficult, and then if we clear that, we'll try it on expert, because you might think, oh yeah, six steps, you can handle that, nay. It's so fast. It is so fast. Right, here goes.
And that's how you do it. That's literally how you do it. Wow! We missed one record. step. We literally missed one step in that entire thing. No worries, Jason, because we're going to play Max 300 on difficult mode, because we got an A on standard mode, which I think has never happened before. We're also going to go for Pad Cam 2.0 with this one, because I just want you to see the craziness that is Max 300. I'm not sure I can do expert mode on this. We'll give it a go, but it's just move after move. Alright, here goes. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. We're going to try it on expert mode. I honestly didn't expect wow. to clear that on record. difficult, let alone get a B. So we're going to we're going to go for expert. It probably won't happen. I think it's the only 10-step song. So uh, wish me luck. Deep breaths, deep breaths. That's how difficult that is on expert mode. You get about 30 seconds in, you're like, yeah, yeah, I can... Oh, no. No, there's just so many steps. But that that was... I'm impressed with my own performance even on that, so that was fine. We're going to try Shake Your Body on three times speed, because that's definitely licensed. If Shake Your Body isn't licensed, Elvis is definitely licensed. I'm going to try this on 3 times speed. I might try one of the harder songs on maybe 1.5 or 2 times speed. And then maybe we'll call it a stream because, you know, what more can you do apart from 8 times speed? But that's just silly. We'll go with 3. I want to do 3 and then we'll see. If we clear 3, we'll do 5. That's just how it's going to be. We've got to work our way up the tiers. It's funny because the song doesn't sound that fast and the moves will kick it. It's on beginner. Hold on. It's on, I don't need it on beginner. You'll want it on expert, obviously. The song will kick in and it's going to be like, uber fast. Challenge belt on this game when? Shake 
take it Cause you know the vibe is what you make it Shake your body up, down, down Get in the middle and let the rhythm Take control as the beat is taking over On the whole though, that was fine. Like times three speed, not even a challenge. So, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I guess it's time five. We're just going to have to do times five. If we get to times eight, then uh, something's wrong. There are other options we can change. So we'll have a little play around before we finish the stream. I doubt I'll complete this. Times five is going to be quite a lot faster. You can see the bars scrolling by. Wish me luck. Nah, there's, there's no way we're doing that. There's absolutely no way we're doing that. Why is it in chat for me thinking I could do that? Let's try another fast song on like times three. Times three is about the limit. Um, we we'll also have, well, I was thinking of doing stealth arrows, but maybe not. We'll do reverse scrolling though for fun. So times three reverse scroll. This should be interesting because they're going to scroll downwards now. It's on beginner again because I just completely forget to change the options here. Times three reverse scroll. I need Jason to tell me to take it off beginner mode. Luckily, this one has a bit of a lead in before it gets difficult. This is so weird reading it downwards. You know, the worst time to get an itch. I really want to scratch my face. Okay, we're good. Had to be done. I should have put more difficulty modifiers on. This is quite easy. <laughs> I missed the last step because I threw the controller too early, but we still did it. All right, I've got two songs in mind and then we... We'll call it a stream because, you know, it's dancing stage. You know what you're getting. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun for a while with dancing stage. So the first one is going to be... Paranoia Ket, the difficult song. We're going to have it at times 1.5 speed, but with stealth arrows. Sudden arrows or stealth arrows? I think sudden arrows is the way to go. And we're going to scroll it the right way because I just could not deal with stealth arrows going the wrong way. So this doesn't show me the arrows until just as they're about to hit, I believe. Which is going to be interesting. At 1.5 times speed. Oh, goodness me. There's not a lot of time to see those. This is hard at like times one speed.
Well, uh, we cleared that one. It's just too easy. I'm, I'm just too good. And the last thing we're going to do... Where is it? There it is. Max 300. Difficult mode. Normal arrows, because you can't do it without normal arrows. But we're going to try at 1.5. No, we're going to try at 2 times speed. And then if we can't do 2 times speed, we'll try 1.5. This is the stream finale. I don't know if I can even do this, so... You all are witnessing history here. Oh, goodness me. That is fast. Okay. Hold on. I wasn't ready. Okay, slight break and go. Yes! Okay. <gasps> we did it. We beat the expert challenge. Um, the expert challenge is basically do whatever you want, challenge yourself, and most of all, have fun. So if you think you can do any better, buy Dancing Stage Mega Mix and prove me wrong. Other than that, though, thank you for an interesting stream. A sweaty stream, definitely. But thanks for sticking around. Uh, I've broken in my new gamepad. I haven't broken it, hopefully. I've broken it in. Uh, but all the buttons are nice and responsive. I uh, got this for 9 quid at uh, MCM. The guy was like, uh, yeah, it only works with PS1 games. I'm like, no, mate, it, it'll work with PS2 games. He's like, no, no, it, it only works with PS1 games. I'm like, dude, it will work with PS2 games. We proved that here today. So uh, thanks for proving someone wrong with me. And yeah, I am exhausted. So yeah, if... If my exhaustion has entertained you at all, please subscribe to our Twitch, YouTube, wherever you're watching this, um, or follow us if you don't want to subscribe. That's a Twitch thing. I'm still out of breath. I'm notoriously unfit, full of biscuits. I had like white chocolate covered Oreos for lunch, so too full of biscuits. Um, we've got an interesting video coming on. Friday, I can neither reveal whether it is a plays, a beatdown, I mean, it's it's not a challenge belt, I'll give you that one for free, but yeah, stay tuned for that, I've still got to edit it tomorrow, so uh, it might be up a little bit later than expected, other than that though, have a good evening, don't exhaust yourselves like I have, and uh, I'll see you next time in the Armbar Arcade.